Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at steps to upgrade from Windows 10 to the latest preview of Windows 11 using the official ISO file. Microsoft supports many methods to upgrade to a new version, but the easiest way is to mount the ISO file and proceed with the setup that way. Since these steps will install a pre-release of Windows 11, it is not recommended to upgrade your primary machine. These steps are only meant to upgrade a spare computer with an SSD drive or a mechanical drive or on a virtual machine already running Windows 10. Just remember that the system requirements has changed, so you will need a computer that includes an Intel processor that is from the 8th gen or newer or an AMD Zen 2 or newer processor. This is in addition to the requirements of TPM 2.0 and secure boot and a minimum of 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM. I will be leaving a link in the video description to instructions on how to check if your computer is compatible with Windows 11 so you know this before trying to follow these steps. If TPM and Secure Boot it is not enabled on your computer, please refer to your manufacturer documentation to fix this problem. Otherwise, Windows 11 will refuse to install. So here is how to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. First, you will need to download the official Windows 11 preview ISO file. And you can do that from the Windows Insider preview download page. But before the option is available, you need to make sure to sign in with your Windows Insider program account, which any Microsoft account will do. Once you're signed in, just scroll down and select the edition of Windows 11 that you want to download, which in this case, I'm just going to download the latest bill available on the dev channel and then click the confirm button then select the language that applies to you and click confirm and now you can click this button to download the iso file i already have the iso file downloaded on this computer so i don't need to re-download them again and now we're going to proceed with the upgrade process to windows 11. you could actually create a usb flash drive and boot the computer but the easiest way to go upgrading a device to the latest version of Windows. If you have an ISO, it's just to mount it by right clicking and selecting the mount option. And from here, you can just run the setup and continue with the upgrade process. Just gonna click here and I'm, and I'm not going to select the download updates and drivers, but you might want to leave this on. I'm just installing it right now, so the installation takes less time to complete. Now I'm just going to click next. I'm going to set the terms. Now, if you want to keep the files on your computer and apps, just click the install button. But if you are trying to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 preview, just click the change what to keep and select the nothing option and then click next. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the keep personal files and apps. Once you're ready, click the install button to begin the installation of Windows 11 to upgrade a Windows 10 computer. And that is all there is to it. We just upgraded a Windows 10 machine to the latest preview of Windows 11. And everything has been kept the same. And now we're into the Windows 11 desktop. As you can see, as I have all the files that I had before. Here's the um, the ISO file, for example, and all the apps that I had before. The time to complete the process, it's about 20 minutes, but it all depends on your hardware configuration and the internet connection to download the ISO. If your Windows 10 installation was previously activated, that should also activate the Windows 11 upgrade. As you can see on the activation page of the settings, we can see that this upgrade has been activated. 
Also, even though you are installing a preview of Windows 11 from the Windows Insider program, after you do the upgrade, the Windows Insider program will not be set up. So if you want to get updates from the Windows Insider program, you will have to come to the settings for the Insider program and then just click, click the Get Started button and decide what channel you want to use to get updates, which you can choose Dev Channel, Beta Channel, or Release Preview Channel. But at this time of this video, if you want the latest changes, you want to use the Dev Channel. If you want a more stable set of updates, make sure to select the Beta Channel. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.